morning. 6.26. Oh, I'm tired this morning. excuse the fact I look like the walking dead um this coffee is so needed this morning and sorry if I just sound tired wow what a what a welcoming way to start this this weekend's vlog um it is currently Sunday morning my voice is going as well it is half past eight no woke up around half six this morning which isn't early like that's a good morning for us sometimes he will wake up at like four which is always a little bit of a killer um so half six is perfect but last night i know to bed at normal time and about nine o'clock he woke up really really crying um and he is teething at the moment so he is a little bit like grizzly in the day um just not his usual happy self so he woke up and he was really, really crying. So I thought, oh gosh, it must be his teeth. In the nursery, got him out of his cot and he was drenched. Like through his like growth, through his big, thick sleep suit, he was drenched. I thought, oh God, he must have been sick. So I got him out and um, <laughs> Jamie and I changed him and we realized he didn't have a nappy on. Jamie was on bedtime duty last night. So I'm not saying it's anyone's fault. So you can imagine what that was like. Then we got him off back to sleep and then he kind of was just waking up so much last night. He was awake again at one, then at three, um, and then this morning at half six. And because he's been blessing us with a lot of sleep recently, your body kind of gets used to having sleep. And then once you're presented with a night of like no sleep, you're like, whoa. So I'm feeling very zombified today. So apologies for that. Anyway, it's Sunday, which means it's family day. And we like to try and plan something nice to do as a family every single sunday which we've been really sticking to and really enjoying like it's a day that i just really look forward to looking forward to spending the day with jamie and noah and like going out and doing something so today i've booked the sea life center which i'm really looking forward to going i haven't been to a sea life center in so many years and it was such a a lovely part of my childhood like that's a place i really enjoyed going i booked the sea life center for one this afternoon um so we've got a nice bit of time this morning to have some breakfast get noah his nap and then head out the sea life center we're going to is at Hanstanto. once we've finished at the sea life center we might go for a walk we'll see how the day plans out i feel like there's you we we never have like a really strict plan on a sunday because obviously going out with a baby is so unpredictable and especially with his teething at the moment it's really hard to know what kind of mood he's going to be in so we shall see this video is very very kindly sponsored by mamas and papas which you guys know is my go-to place for all of our baby essentials like all of our main baby bits our cot our changing station our rocking chair our pram our car seat like all of our big baby essentials are all from mamas and papas it's the main place we go to buy pretty much everything feeling very grateful to be working with such an amazing brand um so today what i'm gonna do is show you guys some of our new baby favorites like essentials that we've kind of like been loving over the past month so i'm going to be sharing those with you throughout this video um and as always i will leave links to everything that we love from mamas and papas linked in the description box down so i'm just about to get started on noah's breakfast and a little weekend breakfast that i like to make him is strawberry french toast so you can make like more and have it for yourself as well like it's not just a baby recipe because it's actually like so yummy so all you need is a slice of bread, 
and you wanna like roll the bread so it's nice and flat. Then you need a strawberry, an egg, a little dash of milk and a tiny little bit of cinnamon if you want, but you don't need the cinnamon. And then all you need to do is squish up your strawberry, crack an egg in, bit of milk, bit of cinnamon, whisk all that mixture together, and then you get your bread and you coat each side of the bread in the eggy mixture. And then I just like to fry it in a tiny little bit of coconut oil. I mean, it's each side just until it's like golden brown and obviously all of the egg is really well cooked. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Then I'll cut it all up and probably serve it with some yogurt and some strawberries because Noah's just obsessed with strawberries. He loves them so much. So yeah, it's a super easy little breakfast and he absolutely loves it. the eggy mixture and I've just realized that we've actually got brioche loaf which is the best bread to use if you're making any kind of French toast can't believe I forgot that we had this so yeah got the brioche bread here which I'm gonna dip both sides in this mixture and then give it a little fry in some coconut oil Noah's just enjoying a little banana stick <laughs> after his French toast. And I just wanted to share with you guys one of my first essentials from Mamas and Papas, which is this high chair. This is the Juice high chair. We got it in the colorway that's called Croissant, which just goes so nicely with the dining room decor. You can see it's this gorgeous neutral color. It's got the wood effect legs, which I feel like goes with our home. A few things I really love about this high chair. Number one, it's really easy to clean. Like there's a seamless design. So you can actually take this foamy bit out and then give it a really good clean. It's also really comfortable for Noah. I feel like because it's quite like, it's almost like a bowl shape. He's just really comfortable in there. The one we had before this, I found he kind of like slanted to the side and this just keeps him upright and safe whilst he's eating. This also turns into a toddler chair, which is really cool. So you can just take these bits out here and then these bottom legs go into the chair and it's like a low toddler chair, which will be really cute for Noah in a few months when he's walking about. The tray is also removable. You simply just push these bits in here, pull the tray out and you can actually pop this in the dishwasher, which is great. So yeah, like I said, really easy to clean, which is just essential after each meal time. It gets very messy. It has these little handles on the side so you can very easily just kind of like move Noah around. And yeah, this is my first little baby essential from Mamas and Papas. If any of you guys are looking for a really good high chair for your little one. makeup on the floor I've got a perfectly good island to sit on here but there's just nothing quite like doing your makeup on the floor when you can lay it all out um, and meanwhile Teddy is just knocking all of my earrings and hair clips off of here onto the floor oh and also trying to get on top of the wardrobe when there is no room up there <laughs> Teddy has become the most mischievous little cat haven't you you've turned into satan i am almost ready i'm like half ready i still need to do something with my hair i think i'm gonna run over it with the air wrap but noah's asleep at the moment so i'm gonna wait until he's awake um i just had to like search around on the floor for a matching pair of earrings because teddy decided to knock them all off <gasps> noah's been asleep for like an hour 45 um, and he still is in the exact same position that I put him down to sleep this morning. And I don't know if any of you guys find this, but 
whenever we need to be out at a certain time, he will always have the longest naps of his life. Whereas on days where we're just at home and I've got loads to do and I could really do with that two hour nap, he'll sleep for like 10 minutes and he's like, I'm awake now. And we've got to leave in 20 minutes. And I know they say never wake a sleeping baby, but I think I'm gonna have to wake a sleeping baby. I need to get him up, get him changed, give him a bottle. I hate being late anywhere, like I'm always in a 10 a minute early person. If I'm on the way to somewhere and I know I'm gonna be a few minutes late, it just makes me so anxious, which I know is silly with a baby because let's be honest, you're always a little bit late with a baby. We're just about to put all of our masses of things in the car. We honestly have about 10 bags. We've got nappy bag, food bag, just all the bags. Um, I'm about to pop everything in the car for when Noah wakes up and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you our new car seat from Mamas and Papas. And after much research, we decided to go for the Joy iHarbor car seat with the spinning car seat base and oh my goodness it's made such a difference to our lives i have mentioned before but noah has always hated the car seat and it was just so stressful going anywhere because he would just cry I actually had a few different car seats now and this one finally has the seal of approval from noah which is amazing like now he's happy to be in his car seat longer car journeys are just peaceful yeah it's made car journeys just so much nicer it kind of got to the point where jamie and i just didn't really want to go anywhere because the car journey was so stressful um and obviously he was so unhappy so we kind of got to a point where we only went out when it was necessary and like our little family sundays had to stop for a while because like driving 45 minutes was just not enjoyable for anyone. But yeah, I'm very, very happy that we finally found a car seat that Noah likes and is happy to be in and looks comfortable. Obviously, every baby is different, but if you have a baby that likes to be sat up and that likes to just be able to see everything that's going on, and if you have a particularly long baby as well, because Noah is a long boy, then would highly recommend the Joy I Harbour car seat. I'm going to take you guys outside in a moment and show you it. The car seat Noah had before this one, almost like tilted, and he was like laid back like this, which he hates. He likes to be sat up, and I think that is the key. He just wanted to be sat up. So let me take you guys outside and show you our new car seat. Here is our new car seat. Sorry if the road sounds a little bit loud. Since I've been stood here, I've had three tractors go past. <laughs> so if there's a lot of noise, hopefully there's not, but just in case there's some road noise, that's why. Um, I'm guessing Sunday is like tractor day. <laughs> so here is what our Joy iHarbor car seat looks like. As you can see, it's just really nice and roomy for Noah. So firstly, I wanna show you how easily this spins because that was like one of the most important things for us, um, just to be able to get Noah in the car quickly and from this way as well. Before we had a car seat that just was this way and we had to like twist and turn, which was really just awkward. So all you do, pop baby in, and then we spin to rear facing. And then one of my favorite features is you can actually spin this with just one hand. So you see these little gray bits on the side, you simply push it up and spin, which is so convenient because let's be honest, we usually just have one hand. Then not only is it rear facing, you can also spin it round when Noah's old enough and he can face the front. And again, there's one of these this side. So no matter what side your baby is facing, you can easily spin them and the car seat is actually suitable from birth to four years so it grows with your baby it has five recline positions this head bit also goes up as well so when you've got your older babies who are obviously taller all you do is lift this bit like it's just so good and then with the straps once your baby is all strapped in with this it's just a one pull and as you can see it tightens the straps so for any babies that don't like being in the car and you're finding yourself having to like quickly get them in before they start crying which is often still the case with Noah he just he doesn't like being restrained but with this car seat it's so much easier just pop him in pull this once and it will tighten he's nice and comfortable in here if, you know we need to move this up or change the recline position we can like there's just so many options to make him comfortable and then we just spin him round 
and he's all comfortable in his car seat. Also, when Noah gets a little older, you can actually remove these bits. So there was another bit in here as well, which is for more of a newborn baby, but you can remove the padding. So yeah, like I said, it grows with your baby. Not recommend enough. And I will leave the car seat and also the Joy car seat base in the description box down below. Noah's little outfit of the day. <laughs> I love him in these knitted dungarees. It is my favorite outfit. This is one of our faves from Mamas and Papas. It's like a two piece set and you get the little, the little sage. This is like a long sleeve bodysuit. And then the cute little beige dungarees. <laughs> you look so cute. Did you drop your spinner? Here you are, darling. <laughs> we have arrived at the Sea Life Centre. Oh, oh no, look at these. These little bowls. What's in there? <gasps> oh. oh, they go in. <laughs> no, I can pretty much go in there. <laughs> wow. I wonder what he thinks of them. Wow. Look at the turtles! Oh, they're so cute. That one's huge. Oh, wow. Oh, I love turtles. Wow. That's so cool. Hello. Oh, I love them. Oh my goodness, the penguins! Oh, he's coming! Hi! No, the penguin's coming to see you! Oh. <laughs> Tilly and Teddy in a tank. They keep swimming up to the glass, like upside down, and it looks exactly like how Tilly and Teddy look. Here they come. <laughs> oh, I love them. Look how huge this turtle is. Oh my goodness, it's so big. I wonder how many years old that turtle is. Wow. It just, um, and these had flew, <laughs> swam over our heads and it was absolutely huge. so many cuddlies oh my goodness cuddly toy heaven oh look at them all oh the turtle is just so cute maybe we should say we just pick one <gasps> but i can't resist oh the little mini ones are cute Oh, look at all these turtle key rings. I might get myself one of those. The little flowery one. Oh, they're so cute. Seals. So it's between the seal or the turtle. 
but then I feel like if we were to get the seal, we also need to get it a baby. Because you know what I'm like, we've got to get a baby for everything. This is a two in one. What is it? A grey shark. Yeah. Oh, wow. A blue shark. Oh, that's cool. Do you want that one, Noe? <laughs> Since when do sharks woof? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. This is a tough decision. I do love the seal, but then the turtle just reminds me of that giant one, and that was just amazing. So I don't know. Ah, oh, look at these! A little seal medical kit. How cute is that? Maybe we'll get that on Noah's next next visit. They've got lots of different ones. Care sets. Ah, oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> Oh, we could get one of those for his holiday. That would be nice to go over his little swimming set. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit big, it'll just be nice and baggy. Age three to four years. <laughs> Guys, I've just seen mugs. Oh, wow. I've got to get a mug. Come on, we're at the Sea Life Centre. Who remembers these water snakes? These take me back to my childhood. <laughs> We're getting this little t-shirt for Noah's holiday. Oh, Sustainable, save our oceans. So cute. We've decided on the tortoise to remind us of the lovely one that we saw today. <laughs> Evening everyone, as you can probably hear, I'm running myself a bath, which I'm actually going to turn off for a second because I feel like that's going to be very loud. Um, we have been back from our little afternoon outing for a while now just on Noah's dinner um it is now actually quarter to six but it feels so early the clocks went forward last night um so we're obviously like an hour forward but it just feels feels early it does not feel like nearly six o'clock so Noah's just in the playroom with Jamie we had a really nice afternoon at the sea life center it was really cute Noah loved it um but I can't help but feel a little bit sad I was saying to Jamie on the way home, I feel a little bit like, a little bit deflated and sad. I don't know why, I just feel like, I felt really sorry for the animals. Even though they're of course like treated really well and stuff like that, I don't know. I just, I think it was the, <laughs> makes me really sad thinking about it. There was this really big tortoise um, and it was huge and it must have literally been hundreds of years old. But the tank just looked too small for it and it kept kind of getting a bit stuck between the rocks and it just made me feel like really sad. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. I said to Jamie, like, I feel sad about it. And he said, well, it's better than being eaten in the sea, which is true. That is a very valid point. I just feel sorry for things. I do this all the time. If I see like a slightly sad looking animal, I'm like, come home with me. I'll build a big fish tank. We'll have a pond in the garden, like just all, all the animals come with me. But Noah loved it and it was like a, it was a cute place to take kids. So I'm glad that we went. Um, but yeah, I'm just running myself a bath. I've used this, the Elemis Skin Nourishing Milk Bath, which I've never used before. I got this as a Mother's Day gift from Elemis and it smells like the whole bathroom. Oh, it smells so nice. It's kind of like a baby powder smell, like a really like powdery sweet clean oh it just smells really nice and i cannot wait to get in my bath we're gonna do the works tonight we're gonna have a good old exfoliate i've got my s-bar salt scrub which i love i use this whenever i really want to get like all of my tan off I find that it's like really quite rough and what i usually do is i'll go and stand in the shower dry like i won't have any water running and i'll give my skin a really good scrub with this with zero water because i find that's when it works best and then I'll go and soak in my bath and then I'll go in with the exfoliating gloves and I, I find that really gets my tan off nicely. I'm also going to do a face mask. Which one should we use today? I'm thinking I've got this like peel. Is it this one? The Pro Collagen Acid Peel from Elemis. I like to do this a few times a week so I think I'm going to do this and then I'm going to put like a nice thick mask on that like gets everything out my pores. 
Um, so I'm going to use that. And then under the acid peel, I'm going to use this power mask from Lush, which I really like. Um, and it's got quite big, like quite big rough bits in, so it's a really nice exfoliator after. And then when I get out, I am gonna do a nice fresh layer of fake tan. I always, always, always use the Filter by Molly May Tan in ultra dark. And yeah, that is my plans for this evening. I'm gonna read a little bit of my book in the bath as well. Um, and then by the time I get out, it'll be time to put Noah to bed, have our dinner, and then we're gonna get an early night and I will see you guys in the morning. What a beautiful morning. It officially feels like spring. I'm just tidying the playroom and I forgot to show you guys which cuddly we picked up from the Sea Life Centre. We decided to get the turtle to remind us of the amazing giant tortoise we saw yesterday and his name is Tommy. <laughs> Who's that? Gee, who is that? Hey guys, just me, Noah. We are just building some IKEA bits today, aren't we, Noah? It's a bit of a mess in here, but he's been helping me with the money chair, haven't you? Yeah. Should we get back to it? Uh, yeah. Let's get back. Uh, oh, am I making you work too hard? Hey. He's got his little bird sounds on the Sonos, haven't you? Hey? Uh, you just want to get down and play, don't you? Uh, Where can you cause mayhem the most? Let's have a look. Uh, hey? Uh, Let's put the seat together. You want to come help? Uh, come on then. Uh, oh. uh, grumpy boy. You still sit down there and watch me. Spinny. Hmm? Oh, no. You can't get that. Let's climb, Daddy. I want to climb, Daddy. Climb, Daddy. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy trampoline, Daddy. You waving. You waving as well. Bouncing and waving. Hello, Dada. Hello. Hello everybody, it's me Noah, good morning. Good morning everybody. Careful. Yay. <laughs> hey guys. 
I'm just coming around to see you. I'm going to do this now, Louie. Come on. Can we help you? Come on, there's lots of stuff to interfere with over here. Oh, there's lots of stuff over here too, isn't there? Oh, careful. Oh, it's coming back. Yeah, oh, I'm okay for your head. Look. There we go. We've got to have eyes in the back of our heads, haven't we, Noah? Have a mini human, they say. Yeah. It'll be fun, they say. <laughs> Are you talking to the chair? Is that what you're doing? Hey? Are you helping? What are you doing both? Now it does this thing where he just likes to whack everything, don't you? He likes to eat it, lick it, whack it, or scratch it. Ikea flat pack with a mini human. At least we've got the bird sounds, don't we? To chill us out a little bit. Yeah? Right, Noah is growing up very fast and he has just completed his first project and wants to show you it. Wow! Well done! Good afternoon my loves, it is now the next day. I can see Jamie and Noah in Jamie's office and they look really cute. I just keep seeing Noah standing, well trying to stand on the little chair and it just looks really cute. We have spent the morning having a little bit of a spring clean. I've just done some washing, um, some cleaning, just some like bits and bobs around the house if you can hear. The washing machine, that is my load of washing, which is just finished. So I'm gonna hang that up now. I'm currently having the sink and I've just cleaned all of the worktops with the lemon zing zoflora. I feel like that scent is such an underrated scent, but it's just, oh, it's so fresh. It's so springy. It's a beautiful day as well. Blue skies, it's super sunny, and it actually feels quite warm. By quite warm, I think it's maybe like, I don't know, like 10 degrees, which really isn't very warm, but it's warmer than it has been. Say warm another 500 times, Gemma. I've had a very productive morning. I've got the clean house feeling. It feels so nice and fresh. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that next week's video will be a big spring clean with me we're going to do a whole house all day deep clean cleaning videos is something i really want to get back into i feel like it's where my youtube journey began um and i know so many of you love my cleaning videos and what's kind of like made me really think about cleaning videos is yesterday when we were at the sea life center um i met a really lovely lady called jenna and we were having a really lovely chat and she was saying how she loved my cleaning videos and that they helped her and it's making me tear up talking about it now when we were stood chatting. Um, I just, my eyes were going all teary and I just, I really, I feel like I don't express my gratitude for you guys enough and if my cleaning videos helped just one of you, that makes me so incredibly happy and I was saying to Jenny yesterday that it's really surreal when I get to meet any of you because to me this sounds really silly but it's a really surreal feeling that anyone watches these videos I kind of feel like when I am chatting to you all that I'm chatting to one of my best friends that I'm it's almost like a little bit of an online diary um that I feel like no one actually reads no one actually watches so when I get to meet one of you it's the most heartwarming feeling and I have such a huge rush of gratitude and having this really lovely chat with Jenna yesterday just gave me 
a new lease of life and I have decided that cleaning videos from now on are going to be a regular thing on my channel. Like I said, it's where my YouTube journey began and I really enjoyed filming those. Like they are one of my favourite videos to film. So yeah, expect lots more cleaning videos coming your way. Um, but yeah, plan for now is... Ooh, I just realised I still got a tiny little bit of coffee left. I feel like I shouldn't really drink this because... I've, I'm a bit shaky. <laughs> That's the sign of too much coffee when you're shaking. Um, but I just can't resist. I'm such a coffee monster. It's freezing cold, but I, do, I, I can make a hot coffee and sip it all day. I really, I actually enjoy it being cold. Sometimes Jamie thinks I'm finished with my mug and tips it down the sink, and I, I'm gutted that he tipped that tiny little bit of stone cold, sat there all day coffee away. <laughs> um, but yeah, plans for now are, I am gonna make my beloved, my absolute beloved, um, mini egg cookie bars. I make these every single year. I've probably been making them for the past four years and obviously they're like an Easter treat. So always around this time of year, I whack out my mini egg cookie bar recipe and I'm, I'm very excited to try them again. Um, we've actually got family coming over tomorrow. So I just thought it would be a nice Eastery treat for them to enjoy. As always, I'm gonna film a recipe reel on Instagram. It'll be up by the time you guys see this, so I'll leave a link down below. And yeah, let's get baking our first Easter bake of the year. I am just about to do some weekly meal prep for Noah. This is something I like to do at the beginning of every week. So he's got some nice, healthy, home-cooked meals, and I like to portion them and then pop some in the freezer. So on those weeks where I don't have time to do this, I can just get some nice, home cooked meals out the freezer. So I'm making a little tomato -y pasta sauce, which he has with a little baby pasta and cheese. It's one of his favorite meals. So we've got some carrots, one large orange pepper, some tomato puree, a little bit of olive oil, and I'm also gonna add in some fresh basil. And another one of my favorite things from Mamas and Papas is the Baby Breezer One Step Food Maker Deluxe. This little device is amazing. So this actually steams and blends baby food all in one step and it takes literally under 10 minutes. So super easy, you can make loads of different purees. Another one of my favorites to make is salmon and sweet potato, he loves that one. Super easy to use, you simply fill up this little tank with water, then you pop all your chopped veg or fruits or whatever you want to puree in this bit and then it will steam everything and puree everything together. So I am gonna go ahead and make his little pasta sauce. Noah's little orange pepper, tomato and basil pasta sauce is all ready. That literally took under five minutes. So quick and easy. Then I serve the pasta with these little mini stars, baby pasta, which he loves. And then a little bit of cheese. I usually put a little bit of mozzarella on top, some fresh mozzarella. And he absolutely loves it. Such a nice little lunch or dinner idea. So yeah, I will leave the baby breezer food maker linked down below. Amy's just had a very random Amazon delivery. <laughs> he said last night he'd ordered something really funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Put this one in. We're gonna have to sterilize these before Noah has the Wow. Why? What's going on mouth? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at that one, a mustache and a kissy mouth. We were laughing the other day because Noah never really has a dummy. <laughs> that one's the best one. <laughs> Noah never really has a dummy and he all of a sudden turned around in the playroom just like sucking a dummy and it looked hilarious because he never has one. So Jamie took it upon himself to order. Oh, you've got to put that one in. That one's the best one. Wow. Oh, he's going to look so funny when he turns around <laughs> with one of these in, isn't he? Things dads buy, hey? Keeping the party alive. Is this your entertainment? Yeah. <laughs> Noah turning around with one of these on. <laughs>
fresh out the oven. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this right now. Isn't the scent of mini eggs just the sweetest, most delicious scent? Like opening a bag of mini eggs, that scent that just like hits you in the face is the best. I used a new dish today. I bought this from HomeSense last year and it's the perfect cookie bar size. Like I feel like it's just, oh, it's cooked really, really nicely. So excited to taste it. Um, which I'll get our official taste tester to have a taste of this later this evening. I am gonna leave it to completely cool before I cut it because I find that's when you get the really nice bars, but you can totally have this as a dessert. Like if you wanna eat it straight away, it's so nice when it's warm. If you even just wanna like scoop it out like cookie dough, have it with some ice cream, such a lovely dessert. It is a little bit later on in the afternoon. I've just had a shower de makeup well i say just had i had a shower and stuff before i baked the cookies because after cleaning this morning i just felt a little bit sticky so just freshened up um and just chucked a jumper dress on because very spontaneously i am going to meet my friend elise at starbucks in about an hour um so it's currently three so i'm meeting her at four just for like a late afternoon Starbucks. We haven't seen each other in ages. She had a very rare free afternoon. So yeah, that will be really nice to catch up. But because I'm gonna be out for quite a big chunk of the evening, Eddie just jumping from the, the ceiling right in front of me. As I was saying, because I'm gonna be out this evening when I'd usually cook dinner, I've decided to do a little slow cooker recipe. I'm gonna make an Italian chicken and i made this recipe last week but i usually just do it in the oven and last week whilst i was eating i was thinking this would be a really good slow cooker dinner because i feel like chicken just goes so lovely in the slow cooker like it goes really like almost like pulled chicken so i'm gonna make that now and then that can cook whilst i'm out and serve it with some fresh tagliatelle that we've got in the fridge so i think that'll be a really nice dinner i'll leave the recipe down below it's the easiest thing ever it's called italian mozzarella chicken and it's really nice with rice really nice with fresh pasta um also just a really nice thing to have with like a really big side salad something nice and quite refreshing to have kind of in the warmer months so yeah let's get cooking The official taste tester is here. He's got a bit of cookie bar in hand. And... Have you been waiting for me to do this? I have. Well, it's good because it keeps it all on a level playing ground, doesn't it, if it's one person? You have to try a bit of everything. Oh no, he wants a little bit. It smells good. Does it? It smelled really good when it just came out the oven. I know you guys love a Jamie taste test. He always gives a very honest good. review. Yeah, it's like a thing now. I feel like every time I bake something, there has it has to be followed by a Jamie oh, taste test. Is it good? Oh, gooey. On. It's gooey. I baked it for a little less time this time to make it a bit more oh. cookie doughy instead of like actual crunchy like a cookie. I've got one word mm -hmm. that popped to mind. <laughs> Moorish. Moorish. I need more. Oh, God, it's so good. What is your rating out of 10? 11. It was so much nicer cooked in the slow cooker. It was really yummy, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm just about to quickly get ready for bed. It is now 7.30, I think. Um, and we're gonna get in bed pretty much in about 10 minutes because we're just, we're tired. We're always tired, guys. Story of my life. Um, just pop this lamp on. And we are going to watch a series that we've been watching for the past few nights and it's called red rose on netflix i'm unsure it's one of those where like 
we keep falling asleep every night and I don't know whether it's because we're tired or it's just like not a very good series um we're on like episode five and I'm still undecided and I think there's only about eight episodes so we'll give it another go tonight um but yeah guys thank you so much for spending the past few days with us it has been lovely as always and I will catch up with you all next Sunday hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you next weekend bye bye